In this tutorial, we're going to give you an introduction to the stage display. This is what the people on the platform see when they're following along with your playlist. In order to configure the stage display, you need to go into the top above your toolbar to the Pro Presenter 6 words in the upper left corner of the screen. Clicking on there, you go to the Preferences tab and choose that one. It may come up showing general or any one of these other options. You want to click on the second item from the left, the one that says display. And this will give you an option to look at or configure your stage display. In order to make your stage display operational, you need to have the enable stage display clicked on. You notice in the background that just changed what you see behind me on the screen. For the sake of the tutorial, I'm going to turn that off right now. We're going to work on configuring the stage display and making it look like what we want. So the next step is to simply click on the white button here. When you click on that stage display, you will get a screen that looks a bit like this one. Unfortunately, this screen is not scalable. So the screen size I'm recording to is not perfect, but hopefully you'll be able to see what happens. There is a gear that you can't see just to the right of the screen that controls whether this menu here appears or disappears. It's an on-off switch. I'm going to go over and click on it, and it will turn it off, and it will turn it on. When you use it on your computer, you'll see it. But that's a way to make this window appear or disappear, is to click on the gear in the upper right corner of your window. The default is for you to see on your stage display the current slide, current slide notes, which are over here, next slide, next slide notes, chord charts, which are, are, are behind this, this configuration screen. There you see them again. A clock up on the left, a video countdown up in the center, a message at the bottom, and then also show border and label, use flash color, a few other options are set. These are all the things that you can put on or remove from your stage display. In order to make this tutorial simple, I'm going to uncheck some of these and you'll watch the boxes disappear. I'm not going to use current slide notes or next slide notes. I'm not going to use the chord charts. I'll keep the clock. I'll keep the message. I don't need the video countdown. And again, I'll click on my gear and make this disappear so you see what I have. That This box controls what you see. Now we're going to show you how to modify the size and shape of what's on your screen on your stage display. To do that, all you need to do, you can move any component by clicking on the title bar. But the only way you can resize is clicking on the lower right corner. So let's say I want my next slide to be below my current slide. So I'll take and I'll resize my current slide. I'll make it pretty big. I'll take my next slide. I'll drag it and then I'll resize it on the lower right. And there I have my current slide, next slide. I have them positioned the way I want. Now there's some other things you can change. I'm going to click on the gear to make this window pop up again. Current slide will show in one of three ways. Default is text only. And that's normally what you want for people in your worship team because they're not concerned about the look and feel of the slides. They want to know what the content is. You do have two other options, and these are used more commonly for a speaker. You can do a static slide, which gives you a picture of what people see on the front screen. This is a moving background, but it's frozen when I click static slide. The other option is live slide. And on live slide, you will see the background changing. I'll go back to text only. Now on the next slide, I don't have three options. I just have two of the three. I have text only or static slide. And again, for musicians, this would be much too small. So we'll leave it with text only. You have a couple other options on configuration. I can actually change the color 
of the text or the default font size of the text. I'll click on the color button here. We'll take the current slide and we'll move it to maybe something in the yellow range if I can find something close. Yellow green, I guess. And there we go. And I could do the same thing clicking here for the next slide. You can also change whether it's centered or left aligned, right aligned, or back to center. Those are some options. When it comes to the clock, you can remove the second zeros, you can remove the hour zeros, or you can show all zeros. So you can adjust the clock. You can have a countdown clock. We'll talk about that in another lesson, an elapsed time clock, um, anything you want to. You can integrate with Planning Center Live. That's another video we'll show later. And you can also change the overrun color. So if you have a timer, and you're past the, the appropriate time, it will change color. You also have a flash color if you have an important message you want to make sure the people on the platform don't miss. So there's several options that you can play with and adjust as you work through this part of the program. I'm going to close my, uh, close my screen and we're back to display. In order to make the the stage display visible to people, you again have to have this clicked. And when I click it, um, because stage display is, is set to my monitor number one, it's going to override what you see on the screen. I will drag it to monitor two, and now I will click on enable stage display. And on my second screen, I can now see it. When this is enabled, something else changes. I'm going to close my configuration window, and when I click up here, it says Toggle Output or Stage Display. In the preview window now, I can click on this, and now I see the stage display behind me. I click back again, and now my preview window is what the audience sees. So this is just for me as the operator. I can click on either one. In the next tutorial, we're going to show you how to use multiple configurations of the stage display in the same presentation. Thank you. We're glad to be able to provide this lesson for you relating to ProPresenter 6 and an introduction to the use of the stage display feature. If you found this helpful, we'd like to ask you to like us and subscribe to our channel here at the Sharper Turtle. Thank you.